Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker. If you're watching this on YouTube, would you go ahead and click subscribe, please? And that way you'll always know when I drop a new episode and it'll make it easier for other people to find my channel and become better read makers and happier people. Thank you. Uh, today, I want to talk about a question that I've been getting a lot, like about the heart of the read. Is it, as some people refer to the heart, of course, as the plateau. And the question is, is it one monolithic mass, the same thickness all the way through? Or does it, does it vary? Does it slope a little bit toward the top of the, the tip of the reed, like the entire rest of the reed does? Or does it, in fact, get thicker toward the top? Um, this is the question that I have been asked, that I have been discussing with people, and that I would like to explore for you today. So the question that I'm trying to engage with right now is around the structure of the heart of the reed and what happens from the bottom to the top of that heart and whether that's even important. One of the questions that people have been asking me quite a lot recently is um, whether I'm thinner back here and heavier up here or the other way around. And honestly, I, I, I'm not totally sure. I really believe that I am pretty much a stable, solid block all the way up and down. But this is a question that's come up several times, both in Read Club and in my conversations with, uh, with people. So today I'm going to just run an experiment. And it's around separating sort of the attic of the little house from the lower stories of the little house. I've got two reeds, one of which I'm keeping really heavy in the attic and thinning this area down here, and the other of which I'm doing the opposite. I'm putting uh, a relatively, just a minute. I'm putting in a relatively dramatic slope through the attic so that the whole tip is kind of sloping into this thicker area of the heart. And I wanna see what that really does. Both of these blanks started with their hearts very heavily at around 53, 52, 53-ish um, microns in the middle. And I did some drawing on them and it appears to me that this is the reed in which I really aggressively sloped the attic out into the tip. And this is the reed, you can see my pencil still, in which I scraped pretty dramatically in the on the first floor of the house, leaving bulk in the attic. So I will just tell you, because I didn't give you the, the control in advance, um, that these reeds were very similar before I started doing this. And currently, on this reed, at the bottom of the heart, I'm down at about 48, and at the top of the heart in the attic, I'm at about 51. Now, I mean, these are small differences, but they're pretty substantial, you know, on a reed. Here on this one, it's even more dramatic. I've got about 45 at the bottom of the heart and 52 up in the attic. So in other words, I've basically let the windows sort of run into the bottom story of the heart a little bit and then left stuff in the attic and thinned the tip. And here's what I've got. It's crawling a little low. That just might be that it's not quite a finished read, but I'm mostly curious about what it feels like to me. Um, I actually really like the way this feels. It's got the resistance here at the top of the heart, which enables me to blow comfortably against the reed, right? Resistance is not a bad word. We like to have something safe to blow against. But the reed doesn't, in general, feel heavy. Um, even though the top of this rooftop is at 50, what did I say, 52? Which is quite a bulky heart. The fact that we're much thinner than that behind the heart makes the reed generally feel pretty easy and flexible to play, but satisfying to blow against. And stable. It's got a, it's got a comfort level with the stability. 
Now this guy, in contrast, let's see if I did what I intended to do. I've got him down at the bottom of the heart at about 52. And the top of the heart is down at 45. So I'm comparing the, the ground floor to the attic. If we imagine that the heart's a little rooftop. Ground floor here is again at 52. And the attic is up at 45. So hopefully you can see that I've, that from the measurements there that I've done exactly what I suggested I would do and sloped that heart from back to front and then into the tip. And I've still got a substantial and visible cut in and transition between the, where's my focus? There we go. I've still got at least a, a slightly visible transition, um, a visible cut in between the heart and the tip. So on this read, The crow is easy, it's about a B crow, but there's something a little looser about that beep than, than this one. Um, it's a really noticeable difference, and I know that, that you can't be inside my mouth and feeling that difference with me, but if with, with little embouchure, with only the most minimal uh, support, I play this, I get that pitch, and if I do the same on this guy, you can feel, you can hear that it's lower and it's less stable. I'll pop that on the, re on the oboe. And that is really substantive, the difference. It feels much more flexible um, to a, the point of being unstable. It is easy. There is less resistance in this read than there is in this read. Uh, I'm going to clip a little bit because that B crow and the flatness up top are like really feeling underbalanced to me. And I'm curious about whether I can rebalance this to a comfortable place. So I'm clipping a little. It's The crow is certainly coming up. And it's interesting because even though I've gotten it to a C crow, it's still sitting a little bit saggy up top. And this, I believe, is because we don't have the substantial, um, the slowdown of the vibrations between the tip and the heart that I've got on this read. This read is, well, obviously it's longer because I haven't clipped it, but it, it just feels so much more stable because of the extra bulk up here, even though... I have to admit, I'm kind of impressed with myself. I've taken that first floor down to just about exactly where this was. I mean, I've done almost precisely the opposite thing on the two uh, on the two hearts, and the difference is very, very apparent. This one is a clear C crow that holds its pitch up and has a core and feels flexible and relatively easy to play. And this other one where I've uh, scraped out the attic and put too much slope, what appears to me to be too much slope within the heart, has gotten itself to a too easy, too flexible place. Um, so if I'm gonna draw a conclusion here, it is that the heart, if it slopes at all, slopes only backward, that the most important thing about the heart actually is the area, and we knew this already, right? The area directly between the tip and the heart, this transition, this this top of the heart where the vibrations are slowed down and brought under control. And on this read, where we don't have the the stop that we require, we have definitely sacrificed stability and comfort. So I hope this has been helpful. This has been a five minute read maker session. You can follow these short videos right here on YouTube and subscribe if you wish, I hope you will. If you have a question for me or uh, an idea about 
something that I could explore on a future Five Minute Readmaker episode, you can find me at JennetIngle.com, which is also where you could order Reeds or Cane. And I hope to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.